we are into the second law of electrolysis. And in that second law of electrolysis, we have already done um, part one, part two, and part three. This is the part three of the video on the electrolysis. Endeavor to watch it. The formula under calculating the second law of electrolysis is number of mole of element A all over number of mole of element B is equal to the charge um, on B ion all over the charge on A ion. Now, in second law of electrolysis, you have two elements. And when you have two elements, they will give you uh, the mass of Y element, which are going to get the most, cross multiply and get the most of the other element, and then times it by the molar mass to get your answer. We are going to solve it proper immediately so that you will see how it works. Okay, right now you have um, a question at the board. A quantity of electricity liberates 3.6 grams of silver from its salt. What mass of aluminium will be liberated from its salt by the same quantity of electricity? So aluminium is equal to 27, and silver, the molar mass is what? Uh, is 108, as you can see at the board. This is so easy. Now, um, you have to know from our normal chemistry in solution that number of number of moles is equal to mass all over what? Molar mass. Right? Now, in this, you can see they are talking about, they talk about silver and they talk about aluminium. Are you seeing it? Now, you see in this question, they will only give you one, ma one mass of one element. So what you will do is number of moles. You will now get the number of moles of the element. Now they give us what only mass of silver in this question, but you have the molar mass of silver and aluminium. So what you will do is get the number of moles of the silver given. So you have 3.6 divided by the molar mass, which is 108. And 3.6 divided by 108 should give you uh Should give you zero point zero point zero three zero point zero three moles of silver, right? Now, when you get zero point zero three, you will now apply it into the formula above that you are seeing. Number of mole of element A all over number of mole of um, element B. Uh huh. So now. Let my element A be silver. So silver is your element A. And the number of moles of this element A is what? 0 0.03. All of our number of moles of element B, you don't know. So I'll write it. And your element B is aluminium, right? So I will write it as N of aluminium, meaning number of moles of aluminium. The charge on aluminium is 3. While the charge on silver is 1. Remember, we said element A is silver element b is what aluminium so all you need to do is cross multiply so therefore number of moles of aluminium is now 0 0.03 divided by 3 which will give you an answer of 0 0.0111 moles of aluminium now when you calculate the 0, 0.0 moles of aluminium remember they want you to calculate what mass of aluminium right so all you need to do right now, remember that number of moles is mass all over molar mass, right? So and you have the number of moles of aluminium. You have the number of moles of aluminium. Which is 0.0111 moles of aluminium is equal to the mass is what they ask you to find. So let me represent it as S. The molar mass of aluminium is 27. So all you need to do right now is cross multiply. So the mass of aluminium is 0 0.111 times 27. And that will give you an answer of 0 0.3 grams of of aluminium that is the answer so remember like i said 
In second law of electrolysis, um, the formula is at the bottom. Number of element A all over number of element B is equal to charge of element B on all over charge on A ion, right? Good. Now, so in the question, you are being given uh, the quantity of charge of only, uh, you are being given the mass of silver. So as you can see, all you need to do is uh, you get the number of moles of silver, insert it into your formula, and then use it to calculate uh, the number of moles of aluminium. But the question is for you to calculate the mass. So all you need to do is just cross multiply like I just did, and the answer will flow naturally. Thank you for this video, and um, I will meet you in another video. I'll be releasing a lot of videos on calculation on second law.